before you, not as a prophet, but as a humble servant of you, the people. Therefore, a place, the remaining years of my life, in your hands. I think the Mandela Washington Fellowship uh, impacts a lot on the legacy of Nelson Mandela because through the experiences that we've learned here, there is certain things that we really didn't have a full appreciation of. So in terms of tolerance, in terms of being open-minded to accept people from different communities of different religious sections or ability sections or gender. I think ultimately the important thing is you just have to be able to appreciate they are different and they deserve the same rights that you deserve. Nelson Mandela is uh, notably one of the greatest leaders we've had and I think the fellowship will inspire the younger generation of Africans to be more open to listening to their people when they try to address uh, challenges that their communities are facing. You have to lead by example. You have to get down and be involved in what you're trying to get the people to do. It doesn't matter how small or how big or how important you are. I think it's key um, what Mandela displayed as a servant leader, what Mandela displayed as a resilient leader. Um, and for a lot of us, we look to him, for a lot of us, he role models um, what leadership we should be tapping into and which principles we should take from the kind of leadership that he displayed. So there's this really heavy responsibility on each fellow to really carry that legacy. Definitely it is a change and a shift from what we know, we have come to know what leadership is. And this new wave is bringing in a, a positive energy. And this new wave is bringing an energy where the people are back at the center. Just innately where people find themselves in communities and looking for different avenues to empower communities and make sure that we are really improving people's lives. My understanding about servant leadership really has to do with not being able to impose yourself because of the position that you have, but leveraging on that position to bring others up and to be able to offer a shoulder to mentor others in a very humble way. Valuing the position you have, number one, but number two, valuing the people that you lead. Titles are just for a moment, but impacting life is for a lifetime. My idea of servant uh, leadership is stepping aside from who you are and serving the people. Being there for them, being uh, focused on them and not you. I can't do it alone. It is the love for my people. So being a servant leader is that you, you, you commit your time, you commit your resources, you commit every energy you have to go forward and achieve, and knowing that whatever you are doing is going to benefit the community. Don't take credit. It is never you. It is about the people you are serving. I believe that if we continue, but just by the name, is in inspiring more people, more young people to say, okay, we all know Mandela and what he has done for South Africa is an inspiration for us. So we need to continue because the change we are talking about is not by words. Mandela puts words in actions. And so this is what is inspiring other people to take actions. It is time for new hands to lift the burdens. It is in your hands now. The future is in our hands and the choice is ours to make, to make the world a better place. I say the world because although I am African, but that doesn't limit my involvement and engagement only on the African continent. Mandela Washington Fellowship will enhance the legacy of uh, Nelson Mandela because when you were in that hall, brilliant young women and men we had people who have committed to bring in gender equality, to bring in food security, to bring in security, education, health. And these are the things that Mandela fought daily to see it. Mandela once said, it is left to us to lead our continent. And when you give young leaders the skills to be a better person tomorrow, then that's just what Mandela wanted to see. The young people being empowered to be leaders, the young people being empowered to take up positions, the young people being empowered to impact the world so they can see a better future, not for them, but for the generations to come by.